Multiple cropping is very common practice in Florida because of our extremely short winter period. Strawberry growers in Florida grow additional vegetable crops after strawberry and vegetable growers grow three or four crops depending on the crop they choose and the weather of the year. Vegetable cropping provides additional income to the growers but there are certain things that growers need to consider before adopting multiple cropping system. First one is you don't want to have rips and tears in your plastic. You should take very good care of plastics because it is the same plastic that you are using year around. You should be very careful when you are running equipments around not to harm your plastic. Second one is you should use optimal amount of herbicides or fumigants during the crop termination or during the crop burn down after harvest. And using fumigant may be the better option if you have a specific disease or nematodes problem as well because fumigants not only kills the wheat and the harvested crop but also provides good control of diseases and nematodes as well. And third thing you want to be very careful about is having your planting holes free of weeds as possible because weeds emerging from your planting holes will receive equal amount of fertilizer and water as your on crop. They are very strongly competitive against your transplant or seedlings. So your planting holes should be weed free in order to achieve the good yield from your second or third crop. At the end, if you end up having the fallow period, you should try your best to keep your weed population as minimum as possible. There are many fallow period management strategies. You can use herbicides such as Roundup or Paraquat. You can frequently cultivate or you can plant the cover crops such as sun hemp, Sudan grasses. These cover crops not only suppress your weed population but also provide additional nutrition to the soil after incorporation. And the main goal of your fallow period should be not to allow weeds to produce the seeds.